Today, I'm sharing with you a modest capsule wardrobe that will help you stay cool in the summer without showing any legs or shoulders. Hello there, my name is Fernanda, and I make videos to help you build a wardrobe that you love. While modesty is not something that I usually touch on in my channel, this video was very highly requested and I can personally think of a million reasons why somebody would need to put together a capsule wardrobe like this. You can put one together if you don't like shaving your legs but you're not comfortable showing like hair on your body out in public in the summer, if you have a specific set of values that you want to comply, if you're trying to protect your skin from the sun, which we should all be doing, or if you're trying to comply with a specific dress code either at a university, a workplace, or if you're going to be traveling somewhere like say the Middle East that has a very specific dress code, this will come in very handy. And on that note, if you are going to be traveling this summer, let me know in the comments below where you're going and who you're going with. To make this video helpful to as many people as possible, I decided to go with a capsule that showed absolutely no leg and no arms at all, only long sleeves. But please know that you can always adjust this and find the right sleeve length or the right skirt length for whatever it is that your needs are. Before I show you the pieces in this capsule, I do wanna give you a few tips when it comes to building a capsule wardrobe for hot temperatures. First of all, materials are going to be key. My personal favorites are linen, cotton, rayon, and denim, which is really another form of cotton. And second, the way your clothes fit is gonna make a big difference when it comes to how cool they keep you. The flowier the garment, the more than the air can get between your skin and the actual garment, that will keep you the coolest. So keep that in mind when selecting the pieces for your capsule wardrobe. As I like to do usually on my channel, I base this capsule off of my 15 piece capsule wardrobe formula, but I did adapt it a little bit because I like to do that depending on the season that we're dressing for. If you don't know what the capsule wardrobe formula is, don't worry, I will leave it linked for you here in the cards and you can check it out afterwards. Let's get to it, shall we? As usual, starting with the tops. I'm gonna start with the very basics. I've included a very lightweight cotton long sleeve t-shirt and a button down linen shirt. I decided to keep these two colors very light and versatile for summer, but as I show you more pieces, you'll see more colors start to come through. These two pieces you can wear with pretty much everything. They're super easy to combine and super easy to wear and will definitely keep you very cool. So I thought they would be a great place to begin the whole capsule. Next, I wanted to include an eyelid blouse, which in my opinion, if you're going to a hot place that has a particular dress code, is a must. Because the cut of the blouse itself can be very forgiving and it'll you can wear a very wide shirt that can be very modest. And if you just pair it with a nude cami underneath, you will not be showing any skin at all. But the little eyelets on the blouse will allow the wind to flow through and will actually keep you very cool. And by the way, I did shop around for you a little bit so that in case you're interested in any of these items, I pinned some of these options and some other options as well on my like to know it. So if you're interested in checking those out, I will leave those linked for you in the description box below. And lastly for tops, I did wanna include something with a pattern. Just because when you do a lot of solids, in my opinion, it can get a little repetitive and then you can feel like you're wearing the same thing over and over again. So I wanted something a little bolder and a little more fun so that it doesn't feel like you're just wearing basics again and again. So in this case, this is a linen shirt with a really cool bird pattern in beautiful colors. So that's gonna be my fourth top. Moving on to bottoms. First, I wanted to include a pair of high-waisted linen palazzo pants, something that is very wide, but can be dressed up or down very easily. And like with a nice pair of shoes and a nice shirt, it can look very dressed up and very elegant. And also the fact that they're so wide means that they keep you cool very well. Next, I went with a paper bag jogger in a very particular fun color. I wanted to include something that would still allow for a little bit of movement. Like if you go for skinny pants, it's gonna be very restrictive and chances are it's gonna make you hotter. But something like this still has a lot of volumes around the hip and the thigh, but it's still very stylish, especially because of the paperback waist and the tie belt around it. And then to break up the format of the pants, I did wanna give you two different skirts, but I decided to include two very different skirts. First, I went with a yellow pleated skirt, something that can be a little bit more elegant or dressed up if you need to, but will still have a lot of movement to allow for that air to flow through. And lastly, for bottoms, I wanted to include a wrap maxi skirt. 
this one in particular has a little bit of a ruffle which i personally really like because when it's paired with something more basic like a cotton t-shirt there's still a little bit of movement to the outfit and it makes it look not as matronly as it could be so here's the thing with the wrap skirts they're super versatile particularly if you need to transition from one dress coat to another. Because if you wrap it very tightly around yourself and cover your legs entirely, you're very well dressed for something with a very conservative dress coat. But then if you say go to the beach and you want a swimsuit cover up, then you can tie it a different way or slightly more loosely. And then you can show a little bit of a leg or like make it a little bit higher up so that it's more of an A-line skirt. So it can be a very versatile piece. Keep that in mind. Next, I wanted to include three single item outfits, dresses, jumpsuits, those sort of things. Things that would be really easy to just like throw on, style it a little bit and you're out the door and you don't really have to think much more about what you're wearing. So first I decided to include this jumpsuit. It's a high waisted long sleeve jumpsuit that ties at the top. It's kind of like a v-neck. So if it's too low on you, you can always wear a cami underneath to bring that neckline a little bit up. But if not, then you always have it. You can throw on a jacket over, over it and you're still perfectly covered while keeping you cool next i couldn't not include a maxi shirt dress like because in my mind i'm like if i think of like cool elegant summer i think of like a long flowy boho linen dress and i was like we have to do it because i would wear something like that to like greece or like if i were visiting like abu dhabi i was like yes that's what i picture us wearing so that's what we're gonna include this is super simple super breathable and super easy to style because of the color you can enhance it with any pop of color in your jewelry in your hijab if you're wearing a hijab and it will still look very fun and very elegant so in it goes and lastly i did want to include a maxi dress with a pattern something that felt a little bit more like a statement piece and a little bit more fun so that it didn't feel like you were wearing basics all of the time that was perhaps not going to be as versatile but it would still make you feel like you have options of what to wear. So I decided to go with this one. This one is very flowy and very boho, but any maxi dress with a pattern that like covers everything that you need to be covered will do. Next, I did want to give you a layer because even though we're talking about very hot temperatures, if you're going anywhere that is a desert, usually the day tends to be very, very hot, but then the nights cool down a lot. I didn't want to give you a super heavy layer. So we went with a denim jacket, something super simple, easy to combine, versatile, and like pretty lightweight so that it would still keep you cool from the wind, but it wouldn't make you sweat like a polyester or anything like that. We're just staying away from that. And something like this not only goes with the color palette, but it's also a neutral, so it will pair very easily with anything else that you pair it with. Moving on to shoes. First, I wanted to give you a pair of shoes that you could walk in a ton without feeling like you're sacrificing on style, which in my opinion, a lot of walking shoes for the summer just tend to look not as put together and I didn't want to do that. So instead, I went with a neutral pair of espadrilles, something in a cream color that you can tie and adjust around your leg and it can like allow for the your feet to expand essentially as you walk a lot, but it will also be very breathable. This one has a little bit of a wedge, which I particularly like because then whatever you pair it with is going to make like your posture a little bit better. And I feel like that just instantly makes everything look a little more dressed up. And second, I went with a colorful pair of sandals, something that would really be like a pop of color because we have so many neutrals in this capsule and so many solids that I wanted something that would instantly be like fun and give a little bit more style. This particular pair of shoes is not something that I own, but it's something that I've had my eye on for a really long time. It's from a brand called Meme et Moi. And essentially these sandals, while also being very fun, have interchangeable heels. So you can buy a very low pair of heels that will make them walking sandals essentially, and then buy an additional pair of heels so that you can turn them into stilettos if you need to go to something a little more formal or even block heels, but they have a ton of different options options for all of their shoes. Like I said, I haven't particularly worn them yet, but I thought that these would be perfect for a capsule wardrobe. So I was like, you know what, let's include them. And if, by the way, if you have tried this brand before, let me know in the comments below, because I would love to know what you thought of them. 
And the last piece for this capsule, as you know, I always like to include a special item. And for this one, because so many of the pieces are very wide, I did feel like we needed something that would cinch in the waist a little bit and would give a little bit of silhouette to the outfit to avoid it looking matronly, for lack of a better word. So I went with this belt from Suzanne. This is a very wide brown belt, but honestly, a color would work just as well. But something that you can instantly throw on that you don't have to worry about putting into the belt loops or anything like that and will make it look like you took that extra moment to put everything together and will elevate your outfit instantly. So this is the whole capsule. I'll let you look at it a little bit before I show you some of the outfits that can be put together with this capsule. In case you're curious, this ended up being the color palette for this whole capsule wardrobe. You can see that the main colors are the colors that are in a lot of the solid pieces. The skirt, the pants, the t-shirt, and the khaki jumpsuit. And then we have a ton of neutrals in this particular capsule. Neutrals are those colors that go with anything else in your wardrobe. So in this case, it's gonna be navy and white. And then for accent colors are those colors that are really gonna pop and make everything else that you're wearing look more like a neutral or like they're not the main colors. So in this case, I went with the colors of the shoes and the colors of that maxi dress. Just in case you wanna see it again on the capsule, I am gonna go back to it. So you can see that this particular capsule does have a lot of solids. It does have a lot of neutrals, but it also has a lot of color and since Oftentimes, you're not gonna be wearing neutrals all at once. The capsule itself and the whole wardrobe is going to feel very fun and like it does have a lot of color and a lot of interest. Now, obviously these are not clothes that I own because my closet is not that big, nor do I have the budget to be able to buy 15 new pieces to show you guys, but I didn't wanna leave you hanging and I did wanna show you some of the outfits that can be put together with this particular capsule. So these are outfits that can be great for like a daytime look if you need to go to lunch with someone or if you have like a barbecue or if you wanna go out and about and explore a city if you're traveling. These are three outfits that I thought, you know what, you could throw them on, you would be super cool and still look very put together. Here are a few more and what I did want to point out about this particular capsule is that a lot of mileage is going to come in how you style these particular clothes. So how you tie the belt, whether you tuck in the shirt, whether you tie the button down shirt at the front or tuck it in or perhaps just wear it loose and open, you can get a lot of mileage out of your clothes. So pay attention to those little details and how you can style them differently because that can instantly change up your outfit. And I do have a few more, so let me just show you very quickly. These are more neutrals. You can wear the first one to the office, no problem, and look very put together. The second one is more boho, more like for walking around. And the third one I think would be great if you have an appointment or a meeting. Like I said, in my mind, it's like, this is the vacation outfit. Then in the second one, I wanted to wear the linen pants, but I did want to tuck in the shirt because I wanted you to see the silhouette of the whole outfit. So keep that in mind. And like I said, the devil is in the details with a lot of these outfits. So in this case, you have the jumpsuit with the button down shirt thrown over it where you can roll up the sleeves and you could even show a little bit of the green of the jumpsuit underneath your shirt as you roll it on and it would look very put together, but it would bring down the style of the jumpsuit to a more casual laid back look. In my opinion, the key to being entirely covered but still looking very stylish is going to be in two things, definition and proportions. Definition, we already spoke about the belt, tucking in the shirt, that is really going to define your silhouette a little bit more. But the other thing is proportions. And I do have a whole video on the rule of thirds. If you haven't seen it, I will also link it for you in the cards if you don't know what I'm talking about. But using the rule of thirds specifically in something like this is going to make a huge difference. So keep that in mind. And by the way, what I just showed you is very, very similar to what I put together for a client when I'm building a capsule wardrobe for somebody else. But instead of shopping entirely from scratch, we usually begin by shopping your own closet. So some of the pieces that you see in the capsule wardrobe are pieces that you already own. If you're interested in working one-on-one -on -one with me and building your own capsule wardrobe, make sure to drop your email in the link that I will leave for you in the description box below. If you enjoyed this video, it would mean so much to me if you give it a huge thumbs up. It helps my channel out a lot. And if you have a shopping trip coming up in your future, I highly suggest you check out the Paradox of the Wedding Dress video next. Regardless of whether you're a bride or not, I promise you this video will help you a lot in your wardrobe journey.
If you like content like this, don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I'll see you next Thursday at 11 a.m. Eastern.